plumberparts.co.uk. Yes, get plumber. Oh, whoa! <laughs> How freezing cold is it today? Holler and hold tight. Welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk video. This is like the first frost of the year. It's like minus three. And I've got to say, I don't remember it being minus three since like two years ago, because last winter didn't really happen. This could be a real cold one, I don't know. Anyway, first thing I want to show you is a new shed. We got a new shed, look. This is where we can film some of our instructional videos for you guys in the future. So yeah, here we are. I mean, it does need a bit of a clear out because basically we just slung everything in here. I mean, I've got all like power flushes, bits and bobs, years worth of plumbing gear that we've built up over the time that's in here at the moment, okay? Got some lovely lights in here, LED lights, which is good. So anyway, let's have a quick look at some of your quezzies, all right? This is from Isabel Harvey, I think. Hi, I live in a four-story house. The radiators, four of them, are not working at all. They are cold and so are the pipes. I've tried to bleed them, but there's no air or water coming out. Other radiators in the house work okay, although some of them, when I tried to bleed them, don't sound as if they have air and not water coming out. The boiler is on the second floor, and about six months ago we removed the radiator completely from the room that houses the boiler. Can you help? Thanks, Isabel. Isabel, we get a lot of questions like this, uh, and usually it's down to a few things. It can't be a lot wrong with the system, because as you've said in here, some of the other radiators are working. Firstly, Check your pump speed, okay? So you'll have a look at your pump. That's inside your boiler. I'm going to throw a picture of a pump up in a minute. I've got some in the van. I haven't got any here. Check your pump speed. Make sure your pump's running. And then obviously make sure that your system is balanced uh, properly. Uh, we'll leave a link to the balancing video in the description of this video below. Uh, so make sure that it's balanced properly and all that sort of stuff as well. And of course, make sure that you don't have loads of sludge in the system. Make sure there's no air locks. I'll leave a video to that as well. How to remove air locks from a radiator, okay? Um, you might have to go through all the radiator sometimes especially if you've got drop down legs you have to do each radiator individually and it is an absolute pain in the ass my god so there we go i hope that helps isabel oh urgent presenter needed for films hmm that might be just for me so bob nickel emailed us in and he said hi i've just found you on the web fantastic site cheers bob i've just got myself a bottle of beer and a bag of crisps and i'm set for the night watching your videos well i tell you what if i got myself a bottle of beer and a bag of crisps I wouldn't be watching plumbing videos, put it that way. Probably be watching football, the cricket, or the golf. Or porn. Anyway, <clears throat> but I do have a problem with my system. I open the tap, have full flow after about 10 to 20 seconds, slows to half flow, and it's off. Wait one or two minutes, turn on, you get full flow again, then half flow, and this is how it goes. Help please, many thanks, Bob Nick. Uh, have you got a combi system, or do you have an unvented cylinder? And also, do you have a water softener? They were the questions I asked. So anyway, you say you have a Santon Premier Plus unvented cylinder with a valent condensing boiler and no water softener. I don't really think the water softener is going to make a huge difference on this one, although I would recommend you get one, okay? Basically, number one, uh, you're going to have to check your cold water combination valve, okay? If this problem has only just started, it could be the filter in the cold water combination valve has gone a bit funny. So knock your mains off, strip that down and have a look. Also remember that unvented systems need to be serviced sort of six month, 12 monthly. Uh, obviously the next thing I'd have a look at is your expansion vessel, make sure that that's got a load of air in it, make sure the, the thing's not gone in there. Make sure that your mains pressure is good enough anyway. I mean it could be the fact you've turned off the, the tap, the mains pressure is built up, and you open the tap again and you know, you release all that pressure. So sometimes, I mean if this is a new install and this has always been doing it, you might need to think about installing an accumulator to boost your mains pressure up. I hope they help. Go through those things. If you've got any more problems, mate, send us an email and we'll try and sort you out. Stephen Rooney, 100. Steve, if you're that old and you're still using a computer, well done. Hi, watch your great YouTube vids on slip nuts and washers. I don't actually remember doing one. And tried fitting one under my kitchen sink, but the fitting won't connect to the thread now. Holding washer seems too big and is stopping the threads connecting so I can screw it together. Are there different sizes of washers? I said, mate, send us through a picture. Oh, mate. Right, yeah. Right, this stuff is... A nightmare. Basically, your best bet is to try and convert that using like a McAlpine inch and a half compression fitting. Get away from that weird grey shiny stuff as soon as you possibly can, all right? Because it's just a bloody annoyance, all right? So get away from that. PP, I know this is Guy Hodgson, who was the man who was on BBC Radio a few weeks ago and is a big fan and nearly won Screwfix Tradesman of the Year. If you check his Twitter out, if it's still there, he's got a picture of him up with a blonde bird. Guy, if I'm honest with you, she doesn't look like she wants to be there. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Anyway, PP, I know I shouldn't cover another man's tool, but where did you get your plastic pipe shears? It looks the business. Smiley face. Basically, mate, they're Rothenberger pipe shears. Got them from, I think I got them from PTS. 
So go in there, they should have them in there. I'm... Ollie James Ladyman comes in, he says, how many sugars, mate? Black coffee with one sugar. Trevor Goldsmith asked us, only took a rat out of the system today and it turned into a nightmare. Mate, we've all been, believe me. Removed the rat easy enough, tried to fill the system, nothing. Checked the loft header tank, found that the ball cock was full of scale, and there was about two inches of sludge in the box, so it all had to come out. Good man. Managed to fill the system, but got a blasted airlock. I say now, looking at the state of what that tank was, you're lucky you even filled the system up. They always clog up down near your tea, don't they? All down where your bottle is. Anyway, anybody know why I get so much sludge in the header? been about 12 years firstly i'd say obviously lack of inhibitor <laughs> it looks like basically it was pure water in there nothing else i'd also say over pumping can cause this because you're effectively turning the the header tank sometimes into an like a radiator really i mean they sort of warm up I always find that systems that over pump often sludge up a lot more so there would be the few things i'd look at trev one of those days isn't it you know what i mean i, I know exactly how you feel Right, so there we go, that's a lot of the questions uh, answered for what we're going to do this week. There's so many, and the ones that we don't reply to, if you if you think it's urgent, just send us another tweet or Facebook or anything like that, or an email to info at plumberbarts.co.uk, and hassle us and we will answer it eventually, I hope. Hold <laughs> tight! Oh, so here we are, back in our lovely little place. Oh, gee, calm down. Right, so, number one, Rowan Chapel comes in with... Uh, <laughs> a radiator that's well let's face it let's hope that the uh, the partition with the door went up afterwards okay let's hope that's what happened there ben williams ben well done mate he's just done a hot water cylinder task at college and he's well chuffed with himself I've got to say i always wonder where do they get all them old cylinders from is it like nice plumbers who've taken a cylinder out of somewhere and thought oh, i'm going to donate that to the college i'll tell you what i remember doing all that sort of stuff we used to have one of us who put in all the unit and everything like that get it all piped up get it signed off by the teacher. Then we'd all go down the pub and all that. The next day we'd paint all the pipe in flux and then clean it all off, make it look like it had just been done again and get the teacher back out to sign it off for another one of us. And they never caught on to that, so yeah. Got Apprentice of the Year though, so that was pretty good. Oh yeah, this time of year, Parks Plumbing knows obviously what it's all about. Broken boilers everywhere, no word of a lie. Toy Story 3. I shed one, really, I did. Big G's bathing today. Right, this is, I'm going to have to say, this is going to be the first week I ever send out two stickers, all right? And one of them is to Craig Poley, or Powley. Don't know how to say your name. Mate, we've all been there, let's face it. You've rammed the nails straight through the centre of a pipe. Yeah, man, unlucky. We have all been there. And most of the plumbing fraternity, all the people who follow us, when we posted that up on our Twitter and our Facebook, all pretty much agreed that it's just one of those harsh things. Roy Auskari uh, sent us one through. Here's one for your collection. This got 900 views on Facebook, I think. Bit of conduit. It's obviously, I mean, I'd say it's probably the feed to, uh, often you'll get little fridges fed on them. They are the American fridges with those lovely little thingies on them. I bet that's what that's feeding there. Probably sprung a leak or something, but some old boy, I don't know. Either that or they just didn't have enough pipe and they just cocked it up totally. Harry Tom Crew came in with this. I don't know if we spoke about this one last week, but I'll just put it up again. Purely because someone was like, oh, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? And it's obvious, isn't it? It's the wrong way around. Isn't it, George? Huh? Georgie? He's a sexy cat today. He's purring like mad, isn't he, mean? Pop a purrer. Now, this is the other sticker earner, all right? His apprentice put his foot through the ceiling. We've all been there. We've all been there. But uh, best thing is he follows it up with actually like a photo of the hole. Gut it. Just gut it. George, I know you're getting grumpy, mate. I know you're flicking the tail around, man. But, you know, chill out because, right, Drayton are doing this thing for November. Tweet is your Tashtastic me selfie pics. I was thinking George could help me out on this. If you want to see the photo, I will post it up in a few days. It's going to involve George aiding me with a Tash this waggy tash that we've got here. Uh, and he's gonna help me out, aren't you G? We're gonna try and win some stuff, aren't we, man? We, 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 what are you doing with them paws, man? So yeah, George, we've also been sent a lovely radiator. Like well, our fans trade radiators. Oh. George, mate, come on, bruv, come on. Oh, look at this beast. Trade radiator sent it out to us. They're doing a deal on them right now. Tell you what, these are damn nice, these rads. I do like. A nice black matte towel rail like this, lovely. So the deal they're doing at the moment is they're running an extra 15% off black towel rails. So they've sent us over this little 800 by 400 towel rail here. This is an absolute beauty. That's lovely that is. So that'll go nice. I'll leave a direct link to them for you in the video description below. 
Uh, yeah. Remember, people, you can follow us on Facebook and you can follow us on Twitter. It has been a bit of a nutty little uh, Ask the Plumber here today. Subscribe to our videos, okay? And as I said, we'll leave some links to our mates Drayton and Trade Radiators in the video description below. Until next week, where I think we're going to either be doing a video on how to solder pipe that's been painted, which has been something someone's been asking us. Uh, I'll see you all in next week's video. And remember, everyone, George, what we got to do, man? It's the look of fear, isn't it, George? The look of a cat who's completely terrified. Don't yell. Oh, he farts again. He's farted. Anyway, uh, remember, everyone, hold tight <laughs> throughout the night. Now, what am I going to buy a curl? <laughs> oh, yeah, George. Yeah. Tip, tip, tip. Plumberparts.co.uk Ask a plumber! Chris, when I call you back, I'm just filming. Yeah, no, no, I'm not, no, I'm filming right now. I'm freezing my nuts off, that's what I'm trying to get it done. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'll give you a call back in about 10 minutes, okay? Cheers and buds, see you mate. Cool, the amount of calls we get. Anyway, so Stephen, where were we?